for the sixth race in the ALMS season. This historic four mile track is also home to the level five race team who picked up their sixth straight P2 class pole yesterday with Frank Titi in the 552 car. And although practice wasn't perfect, the team still feels confident they'll be ready to go come race time. Obviously, it wasn't a um, you know, perfect morning for the 552 car. What, what happened? No, it looks like uh, these are turbocharged engines, and the turbo boost can come in kind of unexpectedly, and it caught Ricardo out on cold tires. You know, he just got on the throttle, no power, and all of a sudden the power comes on real suddenly. Um, spun the car, hit the wall. It's really not that bad of a deal. Um, the unfortunate thing is we didn't get the 30 minutes that Ricardo needed because he's short on lap time this weekend due to the short schedule. So. He missed that, but uh, the guys will have the car fixed. It's just a little bit of suspension components that we already have pre-made. We can throw those right on there. Um, I mean, we could be right back out on the racetrack right now if there was another session, but we didn't get that time. How about the 551? How passionate are you? Uh, it was perfect. Um, yeah, the session was interrupted by the two red flags, but we're happy with the balance. We've got a little bit of work to do, but Simon's feeling racy. Um, we've got a good car under us, so yeah, bring it on. How cool is it um, to race with someone that you're such good friends with and that gets to help you out on the track? Well, that's the thing, you know, with uh, Scott and uh, Marino, everybody, you know, there's such great camaraderie off the track. It's tremendous respect on the track. And these guys are in a different type of car, so you want to give them a lot of room not to get in their way and uh, let them get on a hot lap. And it's fun to communicate when you're out there because you see who's coming up. You look at the helmet, you know who's in the car, and you point them by. And I think that's part of the beauty of uh, road racing in, in multiple classes, really, is there is a ballet, there's a poetry in how to work the traffic and how to communicate. And uh, that's what's really appealing to me. And certainly the camaraderie within the series and the, the respect. I think we're all very fortunate to be out here racing and uh, everybody wants to do it well. It's kind of the last year of you know, the American Le Mans series. Uh, next year, I was going to the United Sports Car Series. Um, talk about how that's been for you. It has been the busiest period of time, I think for all of us. Um, certainly that applies to uh, my own personal schedule. You know, it's just unprecedented by every measure, but it's all been good. You know, one by one, we've knocked down all the big challenges that merging these two series together have, uh, have put before us. Still a few to go, um, you know, with a TV announcement out now and uh, a nice five-year deal with Fox Sports and uh, you know, lays the groundwork there and a long-term runway, we can really put some strategy to it. Uh, next up, I think the schedule is on everyone's minds and certainly we're working overtime to get that completed. But you know, the, the weekend we're having here, I think is a perfect example of what next year is gonna be like everywhere we go. Simon Pagano here this weekend with the Level 5 team, filling in for the injured or recovering Ryan Briscoe. How's it been driving this car and um, getting used to it? Well, it's been back to uh, what I used to know uh, back in 2008, 2009. Uh, it's good memories, you know, I won the uh, 2010 championship here in the NMS. So it's good to be back in the HPD cars. I love those cars. They're very high downforce. Um, they're a little bit less power than I'm used to back in the days. <laughs> in those days, they had a little bit more power. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a very... Very impressive race car. Uh, it's definitely very different to the Indy car, but um, I enjoy it. I mean, obviously, it takes a little bit of time to get back to, uh, back into it, in, into the rhythm, but uh, I enjoy it. I've had a great weekend. It's a great race team to be with at level five. They, they take such good care of their drivers and of the team. We get everything we need to be fast, and uh, that's the ultimate goal, you know, of, uh, of a racer. All right, Marina Franchitti, the pole sitter in the P2 category. We know um, it was a rough morning for the car, but the quick changes to it, but now the track has changed so much since you qualified as well. Um, how's it going to make a difference out there? Yeah, it's the same track for everyone. It's wet, unfortunately, but uh, everyone's got to deal with the same track conditions. You just, you, you, wet track, it doesn't matter if it's the same amount of rain. Every time it's different. So we just have to deal with it as we go out there. I'm not starting the race. It could be dry looking at the, the radar by the time I get in. So. I just need to uh, take it as it comes. I got helmets set up with both types of visors. If it's sunny, if it's rain, I'm, I'm ready for it. All right, with Scott Tucker. Scott, this is you know your home track being just a couple miles away. Your family and friends are here. How excited are you for this race? You know, uh, we, we, it's always been a good event for us, obviously. Uh, 
you know, we were hoping that the weather was going to hold out uh, for all of our guests, but you know, it's not too bad. And you know, it's this is going to be a it's going to be a little sketchy at the start, I think. And the points too. You're leading in the points. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is that any more pressure? You, yeah, you excited? We, to no, we're just we we just do our same thing. It just really, we just got to stay consistent. We got to make sure we stay on the track and we score points. All right, Ricardo Gonzalez will be starting the 552 car here today. Um, we know practice wasn't perfect this morning, but um, how are you feeling now with these track conditions? Oh, good. I, yeah, we had the crash in the in the morning warm up. Uh, it's not something you want to have happen before a race, but uh, the team did a great job getting the car together. Um, I think we're in good shape uh, right now. The weather is uh, what's changing things, mixing things up. So let's see. Let's see how it goes. Okay, here with um, team manager David Stone. David, um, we're about to go green here. Talk about where the cars are at. Well, we're happy to say that the uh, 552 car is on the pole, so hopefully he can be far enough in the front of any trouble in this wet start that we're going to have to uh, avoid that, and, and we'll hope the same thing for the 551 car. That's what the uh, mission is going to be for the two guys starting, Ricardo and Scott Tucker, is to be patient and give themselves a little extra space, not ca get caught up in someone else's mess, and uh, bring the car in uh, and get, get the other two guys in to, to run the rest of the race. So... Uh, Hopefully that's what they'll do. All right, the 551 car behind me here making their first pit stop. Remember, guys, they have to change tires. Scott Tucker did a great job on using those rain tires to the max, but it's time to put slicks on. They'll also be putting fuel in and making a driver change. I know you're exhausted, but great job on conserving those tires. Yeah, that was uh, a little tricky there. We, you know, when the conditions are like this, it's 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 almost every man for himself but uh, the guys had a good setup on the car and even though I was having to drive the rain line um, the, the the tires you know they, they they stuck with me there I tried to cool them off we had to do a couple things but overall not bad right all right just stepping out of the car Ricardo um, obviously it was tough with those rain tires on but how was it out there on the track uh, difficult uh, changing conditions uh, drying track and then uh, a dry line, uh, wet tires got destroyed, uh, balance of the car was uh, very nervous. Once we went into uh, dry tires, uh, it was really good at the beginning and then uh, tires, I don't know if they overheated or what happened, but the balance was uh, very nervous again. Just under 10 minutes to go here, the 552 car makes its final pit stop of the race just for fuel. Guys, the strategy here with the Level 5 team is to make sure that 551 car stays ahead and takes the overall P2 category. All right, well, congratulations. Thank Guys you. are able to stay ahead, stay ahead in points. That's right, yeah. Uh, good result for us today. Yeah, it was um, really... Uh, uh, you know, those, those guys are tough, so, you know, we'll, uh, you know, it, our plan pretty much worked. All right, well, we'd like to celebrate with the team. Thank you, Scott Tucker and his 5 one team coming in first in category. What a race. Yeah, it was, uh, well, the strategy was fantastic. Scott drove uh, an unbelievable first stint on the, in the wet, and he kept the wet tires on forever, was faster than anybody, so it was up to me uh, to race the game after that. I was, uh, I was really impressed. And um, the car was really good, really fast, and we had uh, some good clean air, and we were able to uh, to put enough of a gap to uh, come out in the lead. So uh, I, uh, I got a little bit worried on that last yellow, but uh, fortunately we uh, we end up and won the race, so it's all good. Yeah.